ชี้ไฮคือกี่ชี้ไฮมามามามาชี้ไฮ don't make me เอ๊ะไอ she get off the floor and get to <laughs> stop don't wake me I'm having problems with my mic maybe I don't know hopefully it sounds great but I don't know this beautiful camera kind of like did that and she tipped over and ah uh, she's fine now I'll get a new one but <sighs> all right hey how you doing how you been I know it's been a while I haven't been as dedicated at editing and filming and oh it has been it's been a lot this month okay but it's been a great month a lot of wonderful blessings have come my way and uh but i wanted to just kind of do a video today on <laughs> kind of where i left off the last time so if i tuck it this way to clean it it pulls the fabric this way if i um that's why i do these in the horizontal if i tuck it this way it pleats that way. Well, just recently I ended up working on a quilt. I called it my hardest antique quilt I ever quilted. And I wanted to share some things about that day that you didn't know. It was hot up here. It was sweaty. Um, I was having issues with not having enough Freon in the system. And as the day went on, it got hotter and hotter. Not even just the fact that the quilt itself was difficult. On top of that, sweating my my like water weight off was a lot. But I decided that day to go ahead and start working on this beautiful green quilt. But I was so exhausted and I was so overwhelmed that I ended up having this issue. This is bad tension. This is horrible tension. Really bad tension. Worst tension ever. What ended up happening is I put a brand new bobbin into the machine and either the thread popped out or when I put it in, I put it in wrong. Either one of the two, I don't know. This has happened to me frequently. I think I'm too much in a hurry and I'm just putting it in and I'm not paying attention that it's hooked to the hook. And because of that, I ended up having this. So I'm going to unstitch all this. And the good thing is that it comes up fast. Um, so let's see how long it takes. We call these eyelashes and that's the worst kind of tension you can have. And, but it's the best kind of tension you can have if you're a long armor, cause you can remove it quickly and not take forever to unstitch it. But despite that, it was a lot. And I'm going to share with you what the bobbin looked like when I pulled it out. It could have been caught out here, the thread. So when I pulled it out, this is what it looked like. So, <laughs> all of this is really bad quilting. And if your long armor gives you a quilt like this, tell her she needs to fix it, because this is bad. And it was hot, and I was already overwhelmed because of the quilt that I did before. This is the same day as when I quilted an antique quilt that was warped on the bottom. I just wanted to get the work done for my clients because I had been doing so much for the guild and other things that were going on that I'm kind of like trying to hurry up and get my client stuff done and it just, it, it, yeah, that's what, this is what happened, which I should have started the next day when I had not so hot, you know, or whatever, stuff happens. So I'm sorry if you're going to be bouncing. See how I could just, honestly, if you're gonna have bad tension, this is the best case scenario. I look horrible. I look horrible. Pulls out like that. And so it's easy to unstitch, it really is. Um, but who wants to unstitch? And then you wasted a lot of time. I'm gonna show some footage of how bad and how hot it was. I went ahead, I have these little bandos that I wear, but I, I'm a chubby lady, I might have chubby arms and stuff. And so you see me unpicking with just, you know, I don't wanna scare anybody, but you know, bare arms and all. And this is called skinning the calf, I guess. I don't know where I heard that. Some other long armor. Be careful that you go down and do not, um, cut the fabric but the thread only now I've literally done a queen size quilt like this and then stitched the whole dang thing it's not the most enjoyable
And I'm gonna be careful, careful with the thread here. I'm gonna pull this up and just like that, I got it all done. No, it's completely done. There's one where you have eyelashes either on the top of the quilt or on the very bottom of the quilt. The reason I had eyelashes on the top of the quilt is because there was no tension in the bobbin. If you have no tension on your top tensioners, you will have eyelashes on the back of the quilt. So that's something to know. And there's also other types of tension where you have pokies or where you have just where the, the thread is not pulling it and it's kind of a line. So yeah, there's tension issues. And then I'm gonna have to do that also to the back. I'm not gonna work anymore and tomorrow. I don't want to start my day having to unstitch. It just starts the day wrong. Um, so I try to do this. And then tomorrow I'll start fresh and do the rest of these rows and get this quite completely quilted. Um, unthreading, it's horrible. It's a pain in the butt. But I rather unthread eyelash problems than just unstitch that. I wanted to make sure that everything was unstitched and everything was taken care of so that when I started the new day, which would be the next day, I wouldn't be dealing with it. I have an issue with procrastination sometimes. And if I know that I'm going to one, do a hard quilt, I will delay it as far as I can. If it's a quilt that I'm scared to do, I will like procrastinate like a couple weeks and not do it. I, if I, it's a quilt that's a problem, I, you know, I procrastinate, okay? <laughs> and so I know myself enough that if I was to just walk away from the quilt and leave it in that condition, I know that the next day when I wake up, I will not want to come up here and deal with it. After you unpick it, which is the worst part, you also have to clean it. So, yeah, it's just, ugh. Uh. So I unstitched everything and I have, I'm gonna iron and press it and and start tomorrow fresh so it's eight in the morning <laughs> and yesterday it was like a hard day a hard hot day so today we're gonna be working on her again we want to finish her yesterday i was trying to finish two quilts and it just didn't work so i unstitched everything so i could show you tension you could check the stitching I try to clean it underneath as much of I, as I could. And I have like thread balls. <laughs> like everywhere. But there was thread under here everywhere. <clears throat> like there's thread under here. I'm scratching it off. Lint roller. Love it. Baby, baby. <laughs> you don't have to be on top of me. No. Ooh, bad breath, girl. You don't have to be on top of me, Cookie. I just got out of a meeting and I just feel exhausted from the meeting. Drained. I don't know what it is. Hi. Cookie. Come here, Mama. I do anything but work. Anything but work. Uh, 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 don't let me. Uh.